Now see this question. The average age of 8 persons in a committee is increased by 2 years. When 2 people, when 2 men aged 35 years and 45 years are substituted by 2 women, find the average age of these 2 women. Now let us understand, let us understand very very clearly. Now see here. Let us understand very very clearly. The average age of 8 persons increases by 2 years. Average of 8 people. Average of 8 people increases by 2 years means. Increases by 2 years means total age. Total age of 8 people. Total age of 8 people will increase by. Increases by. 8 into 2, 16 years. Total age of 8 people will increase by 16 years. Now, when is this average of 8 people increasing by 2 years? This increase is happening only when, please read the question, only when 2 men aged 35 and 45 years are substituted by 2 women. That means, there are 2 men, men 1 and men 2. For 35 years and 45 years, these two people are going out of the class and these two people are replaced with women 1 and women 2. Because two men are going out and two women are coming inside, the total sum, it is increasing by 16 years. That means, can I say that total sum increases by 16 means, this 35 plus 45, they are go Total 80 years is going outside. That same 80 years should come inside. Along with that 80 years, 16 more years should come inside. That means, total of women 1 and women 2, it should be 96 years. If the total of 2 women is 96 years, find the average of 2 women. Average is 96 divided by 2. 48 years. A beautiful way of understanding by using the concept. I hope it is very very clear. Total age of 8 people will increase by 16 years. This scenario happens only when these two men aging 35 and 45 total of 80 is going out and replaced by two women. That means this 80 years which was going out should also come in in form of women and along with that 18, there is an increase of 16. That means totally women are bringing 80 plus 16 more extra. 80 plus 16 is 96 extra inside the class. Two women sum is 96. Average is 48. I hope idea is clear. Kiran Deep. No sir, I am not making it as 86. See, 86 I made it here. I made 86 here. But 78 was E value at that time. When A was 86, E was 78. Proportionately do it, not proportionately in fact. Comparatively do it. But E is 76. So A should be 84. Now, see, you can get any values here. Kiran, you can get any values. You should do here and there adjustments according to the data given in the question. So that finally you will get the same answer 84. Kiran, oh, I, I believe that it is clear, sir. So it is not 86 Kiran. So it is 84 only. That 86 was when E was 78. I hope this question is clear for everyone. Beautiful question sir. This is exactly. No, you cannot find individual ages Ashok. Good question you asked me sir. You cannot find the individual ages sir. If you want to find the individual ages, sir, some other extra information should definitely be given. In this question you cannot find the individual ages. If the question is find the individual ages of two women, answer definitely will be cannot be determined uniquely. Please see the next question sir. Again similar kind of question, beautiful variety of question. Now in the previous question, average age is increased by some years. See this question. In a class, there are 20 boys whose average age is decreased by two months. Now average decreases by two months. Average of 20 boys decreases by 2 months. The meaning of this is average of 20 boys decreases by 2 months means total age, total age will decrease by 2 into 20. It is 40 months. That means 
total age will decrease by 40 months. 40 months is nothing but 3 years and 4 months. Total age will decrease by 3 years and 4 months. Now, when is the decrease happening? Read the next statement. When is the decrease happening? This decrease is happening when? When one boy aged 18 years is replaced by a new boy. Find the age of new boy. Now, there is a boy who is already there in the class. His age is 18 years. This person is going out and this person is replaced by another person who is having who is having some age what is his age is the question now think logically sir this person he is going outside the class and his age was 18 years earlier because this person is going outside and a new person is coming inside there is a decrease of three years and four months in the total sum that means whatever the person who is coming inside this person this new person should be 3 years and 4 months less than 18 years. Then only this case is possible. That means the age of new students should be 18 years minus 3 years and 4 months. From 18 years, if you remove 3 years and 4 months, you will get the answer as 14 years and 8 months. So beautifully you can solve all the questions there. And this is exactly what I want to teach you. First question, it is a case where the average increases. Second question, it is a case where the average decreases. Whatever it is, if you know the concept, you can rule the world. And I mean my statement to the core. If you know the concept, you can definitely rule aptitude, sir. It is a statement you can bet it on me, if you want to. I believe that idea is very, very clear for you people. See the next question, sir. Every question is a collection of dots. Every question is a connection of dots. See this. This is a dot connected from the previous two questions. The average age of a group of men is increased by 5 years. Average age is increased by 5 years. When a person aged 18 years is replaced by a new person aged 38 years. There is a person who is having 18 years of age. He is going out. And another person whose age is 38 years he is coming inside the class and because of this average age average increases by 5 years average increases by 5 years how many men are there in the group in the previous question how many men were given this or this was asked now it's the reverse that is the reason I said it is a connection of dot it is definitely a connection of dot now see here sir can I say that average increases by 5 years now can I say that 18 years person who was there in the class left and now there is a person who is having 38 years came inside that means the new person brought 20 years extra inside the class new person brought 20 years extra inside the class or in other words can i also say that total age total age increases by 20 years total age increases by 20 years and it is also given that average increases by 5 years. If average of how many people increases by 5 years, total age will increase by 20 years. If average of 4 people increases by 5 years, each of these 4 people should increase by 5, 5 years. So that total will increase by 20 years. Answer is how many people were there? 4 people were there. How beautiful logic sir. Twist it from the previous question, you will get a beautiful another question. Concept remains the same. Concept is one thing which you should always concentrate on. And I am stressing this point very much from the last few minutes of my class. I am a person who is having an age of 18 years, Divya. I left out. I went out of the class. My friend is having 38 years age. He came inside the class. That means I was 18. He is 38. He is bringing 20 kgs extra right inside the class. Total age is increased by 20. Now, average increases by 5 people. Average of how many people increases by 5 years means total will increase by 20 years. Average of 4 people, if it is increased by 5 years only, total will increase by 20, right? 4 into 5 only, 20, right? Or 20 divided by 5 only is 4, right? Divya, I believe it is clear, ma'am. 
completely this question. Average weight of 5 men is decreased by 3 kgs. That means, let me read statement by statement. Average of 5 men decreases by 3 kgs. Decreases by 3 kgs means, can I say that the meaning of this is total weight, total weight is decreased by, is decreased by 3 into 5, 15 kgs. This is the meaning of the first statement. Continue reading the question. Average of 5 men is decreased by 3 kgs. When, when is this decreasing? When one of them weighing 150 kgs is replaced by another person. That, that means one of the person he is weighing 150 kgs he is replaced by another person. He will go out. Another person will come inside. Right? Only when this decreases by 15 kgs. That means can I say that this person who is coming inside, old person who was there inside who was 150 kgs of weight, this person when he leaves and another new person comes inside, total decreases by 15 means. That means can I say that the weight of this person, the weight of this second person, the weight of this second person is 15 kgs less than 150 kgs. The weight of the second person should definitely be 135 kgs. I hope you are clear with this. Now read the next statement. This new person is again replaced by another person whose weight is 30 kg lower than the person he replaced. That means, can I again say that this person also will leave the class right now because of some dissatisfaction. Another person, the third person who is, who is, this person will join the class and this third person weight, the weight of a third person, it is given in the question as 30 kgs lower than, 30 kgs lower than the person he replaced. That means second person is 135, third person is 30 less than 135, it is 105 kgs. What is the overall change in the average due to this dual change? Because of two types of changes are happening. What is the overall change in the average? Can I say that? Can I say that? Still there are five people itself, sir. Right? Still there are five people itself in this classroom. One person left, another joined. Again it became five. That person also left, another joined. Again it became five. Still there are five people only who are there in the classroom. Starting. Overall change is what they are asking. Starting the person who was there was 150 kgs. Now the person who is there is 109, 105 kgs. That means there is a drop of how many kgs? There is a drop of 45 kgs. 45 kgs drop. 45 kgs drop happened overall. 45 kgs drop overall happened. For how many people? For 5 people, 45 kgs drop happened. If 5 people, 45 kgs drop has happened, average means for one person how many kgs? All the five people should equally distribute that 45 kgs drop. Each person will have a drop of how much? 9 kgs. Answer is 9 kgs. Do I use formulas or variables in any of my problems, sir? I don't think so. I definitely don't think I will use formulas or variables. And I will definitely don't think my students also will use formulas or variables. After listening to my classes and probably after practicing in that methodology. Answer is 9 kg overall drop average. 45 kg the total drop has happened overall for 5 people. That means every person drop is 9 kg. 45 by 5. Simple. Please see this question sir. Once you know the concept you can solve all these questions superbly sir. Now see here. The average monthly salary of 12 workers and 3 managers in a factory was rupees 600. Totally 15 people are there, right sir? So let us not worry about workers and managers as of now. Totally 15 people are there. Average is 600. All the 15 people will get 600. 15 into 600 is 9000. Total salary is 9000. Read the next statement. When one of the manager whose salary was 720 rupees was replaced with a new manager, old manager whose salary is 720 rupees. Let me write that also. Salary of existing manager, person, the manager who is existing right now as of now, salary of existing manager, 
he is having a salary of 720 rupees he is replaced by a new manager right he is replaced by a new manager then the average salary of the team went down to 580 rupees now because the new manager came because the new manager came average salary it will drop down to 580 rupees for a total of how many people for a total of 15 people still there are 15 people only in this organization right that means can i say that total salary right now total salary right now after the new manager joined and after the old manager left it is still 15 people and 580 rupees is the average 15 into 580 is 8700 rupees right it is 8700 rupees that means can i say like this sir think logically when the new manager was there total sum is 9000 sorry when the old manager was there total sum is 9000 when the new manager came total sum is 8700 that means the new manager is getting 300 rupees less than old manager new manager is getting 300 rupees less than old manager old manager was getting 720 rupees so new manager should get new manager salary will be 300 rupees less than 720 which is nothing but 420 answer for this question is 420 in my method one let us see another way of problem solving the same question in method two how can I solve it to get the same answer 420? Listen carefully, sir. I am switching on to my method 2, wherein I will still get the same answer as 420 without much of simplifications or calculations. Now, think logically, sir. What is that it is given old average salary? When the old manager was there, when the old manager was there, average salary is 600 rupees. When the new manager came, when the new manager came, average salary is 580 rupees, right? This is what is given in the question. That means, can I say that average salary, average salary which was 600, now it became 580. Average salary decreases by 20 rupees for all 15 people. Average salary decreases by 20 for all 15 people. Average salary decreases by 20 means total salary, total salary decreases by, total salary decreases by 20 into 15, 300 rupees. That means old manager when he was getting 720 rupees as the salary, total should decrease by 300. New manager should get 300 less than 720, 420. This method it does not involve too much of bigger calculation. See this method 1. Method 1 involves 15 into 600. 15 into 580. It involves calculation. Although method 1 is also an easy method to solve. But still it involves calculations. Please observe method 2. It involves lesser calculations and it involves very easy calculations. So please switch on to method 2. Rather than switching on to method 1. I believe that my idea of solving problems is very very clear for my students.